bird song at 4:20 in the morning on a Saturday. This is this is how it goes. It's going to uh, pick up my grandfather. <clears throat> He's leaving for Korea today. Got to pick him up and uh, drive him to the airport. So I'm gonna go do that and uh, I think of a couple of things to say. So I'd like to do a friggin' early morning vlog. <laughs> Happy 4.20 a.m.? Oh, yeah. And we're back. I uh, just just dropped my grandfather off at the, uh, at the airport. And uh, I'm now driving back home. And I don't know if I'm going to get any sleep. I'm really not that tired. Uh, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so it's a pretty overcast day. So can't sit out and watch the sunrise today, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, kind of jealous of my grandfather, actually, that he gets to do uh, <laughs> all this traveling at his age. I think he's going to be turning um, 80, 80, 81, 82, anyways, something. He's, he's, a, he's an old guy, but he's still going, which is awesome. Anyways, he's headed out to Korea for the week uh, for uh, an event for the Korean Veterans Association. And, uh, yeah, he usually has a good time there, so more power to him to be able to do that at his age. Um, and, uh, you know, still enjoy it and still have the, uh, the capacity to, to be able to see the sights and, and all that sort of thing. Have good beer and good food. Um, yeah, so how you doing? No. Um, Today is squat day, well, it will be squat day. I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work because I've only had five hours of sleep or four hours of sleep. And at the moment, I'm just not that tired. Um, I, bought, I bought an energy drink. I don't know if I'm gonna crack it open though. Because I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel. So, we'll see. Right, I wanted to talk about budgets uh, a couple of days ago, I think, and I never got around to it. Um, I'm finally on a budget. <clears throat> I was uh, directed to, uh, my, my parents had told me about uh, Gail Vazox Light a little while ago, um, and I never ended up uh, going to the site, but uh, it was re-suggested re to me by, uh, by a friend of mine, and uh, I actually went this time and filled out uh, a budget. And it's kind of nice um, having a plan for your cash uh, when you're in a debt hole like I am you know, kind of sucks. Um, it's just nice to have a place or, or a list of where your money's going to be going every day and a set amount that you draw and use um, every, you know, every every week or every two weeks uh, in my case. And um, it's just kind of, it, it, I, I get it, not excited, but I'm less, um, I'm less frustrated now logging in to, to see my money to see my bank account and statements and stuff, which, you know, changes it. It's kind of nice because I know exactly where my cash is going. I know how much I have for entertainment. I don't know how much I have for gas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that just kind of is, is comforting. <laughs> so, uh, so focusing on paying off the debts right now and, um, you know, one, uh, one, one day at a time, one day at a time, just like it is for everything. So, um, if you're asking yourself how I'm so chipper at 5 o'clock in the morning, well, let's just say I'm having good thoughts. Feel the eyebrow move. Whoa! Whoa! Right. So, um, yeah, that's my, um, you know, that's, that's my financial life right now. It's just trying to get out of debt and make sure I have a plan for my cash and that, uh, that things go well, you know, once I get this debt monkey off my back, uh, things, things in life will be a lot better, and I should have taken care of this years ago, but hey, it's just how it goes.